Hey there again, it's Flynnmon 14, and we're back with another uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses ranking challenge video. Uh, so yeah, let's go up against Keith here. Alright, just transferred the file to my laptop, and uh, yep, you know, you know, checked it while it's in the laptop. Sounded pretty good to me, so let's just kind of chill. Uh, what time is it, by the way? Okay, I'm gonna keep an eye on the clock. And, um, yeah, make sure. Oh, Stone D again, wow. It's <laughs> part of the cards, right? That still applies, even in ancient Egyptian England. <laughs> uh, but yeah, last episode, we uh, just kind of vlogged and talked about jazz, man. No, no, I'm just kidding. But we did, uh, what is that? Uh, we did get a three in a row right away and got, uh, Gorgon's Eye, right? Yeah, yeah, Gorgon's Eye. And this card flipped, ah, uh, pretty good effect. Uh, thanks for showing me the stats of that monster, though. Appreciate it, bro. Let's see if we got a Thunder Monster. Oh, we did. Hmm. Now, the question is, do I go for the... 300 extra attack? Tell you what, here's what I'll do. The AI, the AI is pretty exploitable in this game. So I'll move Stone D here, or to some point here to where I can defend, and we'll have Bolt Penguin trail uh, eventually infuse with Stone D to make a twin hit of Thunder Dragon. That sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Alright. And I don't know if I can get Keith's uh, run out turns. Or have I been able to get him yet? I I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, yeah. So let's go here with Stone D. Yeah, we got display on. And we'll probably put Penguin here. Yeah. Well, actually, let's just go ahead and find out whatever this monster is. Uh, let's set some bait. There we go. And we will uh, be in the turn. Yeah. Go ahead, Keith. Come at me, bro. I'm ready for ya. What you got? Oh, we already know what that's got. Alright. Battle, aka Drink Break. Let's see. Oh, by the way, uh, I for those eagle-eyed viewers who can, you know, see me in the reflection of the TV, I, uh, number one, I took off my hoodie. It's feeling a little warm. And number two, I switched out Sand Tsunami! Oh, that's so cool, bro. Error, error, shut down. Error, blue screen of death. <laughs> that's gonna be fun to look at on the editing. Uh, but no, I switched uh, the squeaky chair with the gaming chair. Yeah. Oh, ooh, that's it. Is that what I think it is? What is that? No, let's blast Juggler. Oh, well, either way, check this card out. This is a pretty, you know, dickhole card for Keith to use. Check this out. Okay, so it's three stars, aka he can always summon it. Fire attribute, machine, 800, 900. Yeah, all cards located in a surrounding 3x3 area are automatically destroyed when this card destroyed the battle. What does that mean? Well, I'll show you what it means. So, um, yeah, this is actually the perfect card to run in here. So I'm actually going to run in Giant, giant Red Sea Snake. Uh, I'm not going to show the attack. But check out what Blast Juggler is going to do here. He's going to have an effect that'll go off and he'll say, Effect. Now check this out, check this out. Swing! Boom! Basically, okay, Blast Juggler was here. If I would have had a card here, 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 here. This is a 3x3. Three three. Yeah, it would have been... Yeah, that card can take out multiple cards at once, so watch out. Watch out. Uh, now what I think I'll do... As I said, we've got the plan for the THTD. So I'll move Stone Dragon back here, and I'll fuse it with the uh, Bolt Penguin next turn. But yeah, that's a that's a pretty dangerous card. So 
and he kind of summoned it in the right place too. You know, just kind of right here, right in the middle. That's, that's pretty savvy by Keith. Uh, okay. Twin-headed Thunder Dragon, here we come. You shot. And I'll set some more traps uh, in the coming turns. Let's move here. In my turn. Uh, the last video I recorded was about well, it was pretty decent length, so I guess this this uh, I guess I have just enough space. I always sent someone else up in here. Okay, well, um, hmm, Spike Cedra. Hmm, all I really need is one fusion part, and I can go into Aqua Dragon. Yeah, I just need the right card. But we've got traps in the meantime. In between time, we can go back to the display. All right. What you got here, Keith? Space Megatron. Yeah, this guy's pretty huge. Space Megatron. Look how Man, that thing's gigantic. <laughs> uh, by the way, I don't think this card was ever printed in the U.S. Looks pretty cool, though. Looks like it could belong in the uh, Gradius archetype, or, you know. <laughs> ah, that's kind of what I've been looking for right there. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll leave Furious Seeking right here. And next, uh, let me just go ahead and flip it up. Yeah. Get a little sea terrain going. And next turn, I'll move it, yeah, over Space Megatron here, who's been massively downgraded. And, uh, yeah. I, but I wanted, to, I wanted to flip him here, because that way I spread the water here and here. So, all right, we're doing, and plus Keith should move. Yeah, start running over his own cards. All together, good move. Good. All right, what do you got here, Keith? Ooh, we might lose this fight. Yep. But, one thing I do want you to know, that does tell you how many machines Keith currently has on the field. Because, uh, well, we'll, we'll add up the math. Gallic gun! But, uh, <laughs> that was a bad Vegeta. Listen here, clown! Gallic gun! Ah, that's a little better. Been a while since I did my Vegeta voice, too. Optimus Prime. Watch out, Sam. Give me the cube. It's the only way to restore peace to the planet. Ooh, good thing I've got Magic Jammer. Alright, so obviously, Keith has, uh, so to figure out the math on this, it's got 2200 right now. It's 100 for extra machine, so it's got the field bonus, so 27, and so it counts itself. One machine, two machine, this is a monster. There you go. Simple deduction. Uh, but man, I'm surprised uh, Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon got taken out so easily, but this is one of his better machine monsters, so I'm not too upset. Um, we've got time. How long is the spell bound? Two more turns? Uh, let's give Furious Seeking a little power boost. Flip up Maiden of the Aqua right here. And just, we'll keep kind of pseudo chasing Keith here. I will skip this battle. Giant Mech Soul. Yeah. Now, if he had kept that in the Wasteland, we'd have a problem. But, uh, no, we're good. Alright, and that way Keith will, you know, probably go more that way. I imagine he'll move in. I don't know what he'll do with Machine King. Now that he's successfully taken that spot. I guess we'll see. Oh, so he's going to go around the very outside. Honestly, that's good for us. Ooh, here we go, guys. Okay, this is kind of what I've been waiting on. Check this out. So let's... Um, Go ahead and do this right here, yeah. So, yeah. Psychic Kappa. Remember how I, um, 
Yeah, a couple episodes ago we won this. Ground Attacker Mugroth, check this out. If you fuse this with the Aqua, you can make Amphibious Mugroth, which is a high level Aqua. Infuse it with the high level Sea Serpent. And Triple Fusion. Oh yeah, that's an Aqua Dragon, baby. <laughs> yeah, so I'll just show you guys the graveyard here real quick. Oh, my graveyard, sorry. So, yeah. yeah. Low level Aqua Machine goes into an Amphibious Bug Raw. High level Aqua and a Sea Serpent. And you get a formula for success. All right. Pretty good now. I was I was really waiting on that uh, ground attacker bug Roth. Glad we drew it. Part of the cards, man. And now we get to see Hydro uh, the stream of destruction. Let's watch. Ah, uh, it's been a while since I seen you, my boy. Good seeing you, Aqua Dragon. Dragon to chase him to one. No. Uh, for now, let's backpedal and end the turn. Okay. And now he's moving back. I don't know what Keith's doing with Machine King over there. Wasting some turns, that's for sure. Uh. Not bad. Amoeba. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so step one of my plan to get rid of Machine King. Step one, Amoeba and Defense Mode. Step two, Amoeba's Effects. Step three, Aqua Dragon. Oh, well, actually, can Furious Sea King take down Machine King? I, th I think it can. So I'll actually move Aqua Dragon to chase, you know, Heath outside into the wasteland. Uh, yeah, Sea King might need some help, but uh, yeah, I think we got this. As long as he doesn't summon like Barrel Dragon. All right, so you guys get to see Optimus Prime and Stereo. Man, I'm trying to think of some good movie quotes from Transformers. <laughs> I mean, a lot of his fights were just with Megatron. Well, no, I mean, at one point, I remember him pulling out the sword, and, like, that that was a pretty... That looked pretty cool in theaters. I'm talking about, like, the first, like, two Transformers movies. Although, he was out of, uh... Optimus Prime was out of, uh... Revenge of the Fallen for sometimes because they were like, oh no, Optimus, you know, he, yeah, he, he died. He died, quote unquote, in, in Minecraft. In Minecraft. Yeah, and they, they used like a piece of the cube to, re I don't know, they did some hacks stuff to resurrect him, you know, so. But you know, I, I mean, we all saw that coming. Typical movie trope. Uh, well, I guess if I play the second mate of the Aqua. We're good, right? Yeah, Furious Sea King taking down Machine King. Ha! I guess I'll have to show you who the real king is around here. You stepped into the ocean at the wrong time, Megatron. Oh, whoops. Optimus Prime. Ah, dang it. I ruined it. I ruined it, guys. I ruined the ongoing joke. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Everyone knows machines are weak to water because they rust and lightning because it's a shock to the system. Superhero static shock. That was like a heavy thud when Machine King fell to the ground. You guys hear that? Yeah, who's the real king around here? Furious Sea King. Yeah. <laughs> 
Nice. That might actually level them up. I mean, because this is only like a three-star monster. Uh, maybe it won't. I mean, it did take a while to get from uh, Captain to uh, Major for Aqua Dragon. So, yeah. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it helps. But I would imagine, like... I don't know the exact code of the game. We've said this multiple times before. As far as, you know, the... Uh, you know exactly how many like experience points something needs to rank up but we're basically kind of finding out as we go you know that's the kind of nice part about doing this challenge is i'm definitely finding out things we didn't know about the game or well, that i didn't know which is kind of fun in and of itself but i imagine i mean this is just me right i imagine like if a two-star monster takes down like a uh a six-star monster I imagine, like, that's not, like, one experience point, like it usually is. I imagine, like, there's there's, there's something in the formula, like, that's that's double the normal, you know, normally if it's, like, 25 experience points, that's, like, 50, you know what I mean? Because that's, that's a difficult task to overcome. Right, I mean, I mean, the, right? Yeah, you guys are feeling me. I mean, logically, that makes sense. That makes sense. Alright, as long as you don't play Barrel Dragon, Keith, I think we're... Oh, my. Well, honestly, that was kind of best case scenario for us. I mean, worst case scenario, he would have hit Aqua Dragon with uh, Barrel Dragon. But, man, what is, what is with this duel? King on King violence? Dragon on Dragon? Keith, man, we gotta, we gotta have a peace treaty here. It's like a mirror match, man. The tr the machine dragon, the king of machine dragons against the king of aqua dragons, and then my sea king against the machine king. Come on, why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Error. Barrel dragon looks cool. Even the censored version. I I realize this is the censored version. But even that looks pretty dope. And it looked pretty dope in the anime, too. Yeah. Oh, man. Barrel Dragon's always an iconic sight. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So we lost Maiden of the Aqua. That sucks. Yeah. And it mostly sucks because this is the ranking challenge. And, like... Yeah, anytime your monster's, you know, destroyed, doesn't really matter how. It does make them, you know, lose, you know. And if I didn't mention this before, I probably should have mentioned it. Um, yeah, your monsters can actually rank down in this game. Um, the main proponent of ranking down, though, that, that I... I think, ooh, maybe I shouldn't have moved gold oil there, is, uh, oh, perfect, tie, but, uh, my monster respawns, ha ha ha, joke's on you, but the main proponent of ranking down is, um, like, you know how you can do the fusion parts, and you can, you know, trash a bunch of monsters from your hand, well, if you do that to your, I gotta admit, Shovel Crusher, that looked pretty cool, but I've got Mega Punch. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Long story short, let me get back to what I was saying. If you like trash your, keep trashing your whole hand, and let's say I keep trashing Maiden of the Aqua, you know, just discarding my whole hand, and yeah, that will cause her to demote. Or if she like loses a lot of battles, or um, now this is the part I'm not too sure about. Like if I use Maiden of the Aqua as a fusion material, does that? you know, um, rank her down, or not really. I'm not really sure how that works yet. Um, I guess we'll find out together, basically, because, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I just don't know. But we will find out, so. All right, we win here. I don't expect any promotions here, but We'll try for a three in a row. We haven't dueled Keith that much. And he did play, uh... 
limit of removal, which I do want to try to win here. So let me take these headphones out of my ear so I can concentrate on the music. Because that's how I usually go by the slots. I just kind of go by the music. And, and sometimes you guys will hear me. I'm like, that's one, that's two, boom. Yeah. Now let's look at limit of removal. That's one, that's two. Ooh, there's a lot of cards in the graveyard. Okay. Okay, that's Patrol Robo. I hit it all really, really early there. Let's see. We can do this, Josh. Let me remove it. I see it. Get locked up. Ooh, we got it! <laughs> nice! Nice, that's the card I wanted. Um, What else is good? Well, Magic Jammer's good. Uh, Machine King's good. Jammer or Machine King, Josh? Let's go for the King. Oh, what's the King surrounded by? Oh, no, the King's surrounded by Shovel Crusher and stuff. Yeah, maybe I should go for Magic Jammer, yeah. Okay, we'll go for Magic Jammer. Uh, where is Magic Jammer? Oh, it's right by uh, Limiter Removal. That's why, okay. Oh, I missed it by one. Basically, all I did there was I, you know, I thought in my head, you know, aim for limiter removal, but like a second late. But I guess I was two seconds late. Yeah, it's all good. Because uh, uh, we got, uh, what was the other card we got? Uh, you know what? It's a bonus episode. I'll just, I'll just show you guys. I think we got uh, seven completed. From that. Yeah, seven completed is pretty good. I mean, yeah, increase the power of slot machine by 700. I mean, 700 for a power-up, that's pretty substantial, even in this game. But yeah, the better car we got, limit removal, check this out, will boost all your machines. And so you activate this like you would activate, like, mountain or forest. You just kind of, this isn't an equip, you just basically kind of set it. Uh, this is kind of like the aqua course for machine types. Very good card. In the real game, it uh, doubles your machine's powers and then, you know, destroys them at the end phase, which I'm, uh, to be quite frank, I'm very glad they nerfed that in this game because, like, doubling power and, like, you guys see, like, you know, Keith just puts out Barrel Dragon that's at 3,100. Yeah, doubling the power? That's a little broken. Even, I mean, this game's already broken. You know, in in a way, like, you know, for especially for newcomers, because the AI, like, they always have the field advantage and they always have, like, you know what I mean? You don't really need to give, you know, Keith a broken card like that. You know, doubling power, that's... <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm very glad, you know, they nerfed that. Um, let's go ahead and switch to the Rosie deck. And let's duel uh, Weevil. I, I, I'm glad that we're able to switch decks now and, you know, duel, you know, different people. You know, it's just nice to have the change of pace, man. It's like, oh, we finally did it, guys. We did it. <laughs> we're not stuck with just Weevil. All right. Uh, now, yeah, speaking of leader abilities. Yeah, Rose actually has one. Um, yeah, increased strength for same type friendlies. So that means, like, within the immediate summoning area here, all, um, what type is she? Plant? All plant monsters will actually be boosted by 500. Like, for example, herself, normally 2,000, with the terrain up, uh, 25, and with the same type friendlies, 3,000. That's pretty good. But it's just little old Weevil we got here, so we're gonna send Manny in her butt. And we're going to assume the offensive position. Well, I think this will be the last duel for the episode. And, uh... Or, oh, by the way, side note, my phone might, you know, stop here, guys. And just, you know, if, uh, it runs out of, uh... You know, you know what I'm saying. This has happened before, you know, where, uh... There's just not enough space on my phone, and, like... For some reason, most of the videos, like, they'll just cut themselves out around, like, uh, oh, I didn't see what he's, uh, okay, he could play a Hunter Spider, but yeah, most of them will just kind of cut around, like, 30 minutes anyway, so, 
If this video cuts off early, sorry, but I just finished the duel off screen. Ah, I might take out Hunter Spider here. Yeah, nice. But, uh, yeah, that's the plan. Just kind of chill, finish this one up, and, uh, yeah. That'll do it. Yeah. Sorry, Hunter Spider. All right. So now, what can we do about this? Well, we can slow him down, number one. Or we can just kind of change the field of water. Let's move up. Kind of flood him out of the forest here. I imagine he'll probably just take out Man Eater Bug. I mean, that, that's what I would do. I mean, there's no need to go for, like, the face down monster especially when there's something like you know you know you can get rid of it yeah see yes smart move correct move by the ai yeah, for once <laughs> even a broken clock is right two times a day <laughs> infinity dead scissors that's got to be like at least like 75 strikes. That's an air cutter that actually works right there. Can Heracross even learn air cutter? Uh, I mean, this isn't even Heracross, Josh. You're, you're crossing the line. <laughs> you're mixing the recipe, man. You're throwing off the, the mojo. Dude, what movie is that from? I have no idea, but like, what? <laughs> um, okay, so this monster's powered up as well. But I doubt it it's as high level as Hercules Beal here. So let me get, show you guys how you can use your um, your same type friendly. I'll actually show you. Uh, step one, run away. No, no, no. Step one, you know, just kind of have something blocking you to where that way they enter here. And I'll show you step two here. Uh, I feel like I should attack this. You know what? And I kind of want water over here anyway. Oh, of course. Oh. Okay, okay. A man-eater bug for a man-eater bug. You know what? I got a hand to you, Weevil. Oh, man, but Fury Seeking could have beat that too. I knew he could. I knew he could. Ah, uh, he got me. He got me with that one. He got me. It's okay, though. It's okay. Yep. All up in my grill, huh? But yeah, this is how you can use same type friendlies. Is like uh, basically like you would. I'm not actually gonna do it, but you would summon it here, and then just you know move to the left. I guess I should do it just to show you guys. Um, yeah. So here, and then I'll run away from the main eater bug. But yeah. Oh. Did that win Weevil the game? No, no. Well, maybe. Well, if I move here. No, well, he's probably gonna. Wow. That was a good trap, Weevil. I gotta give it to you for once. That was a pretty good move. Weevil's AI is playing pretty good today. Yeah, yeah. So I figured that would be coming. That's okay. We can block the next hit. Not too worried. Here comes the man eater bug. Okay. Yeah, because no matter what, I can move right and then set a card between. Oh, and plus we've got infinite dismissal anyway. So I might just do this, because this is more damage. Let's skip this battle and probably skip some more battles today. Yeah, because I think we're going to be kind of low on time. So let's do that. And then. These two might fuse. Mm, if I had a higher level beast, 
I'm maybe, because with a fiend and a beast, much like a chimera, you can actually make chi you can actually fuse for chimera, but I think the beast I need to make needs to be like flower wolf level, like a higher level. But yeah, if you fuse a fiend with a beast, you will get chimera, a flying mythical beast. Just to let you guys know. Another power increase. Defense. Yeah, son. Man, Reaper's actually playing pretty good here. It's, it's actually kind of surprising. Well, I kind of went full aggressive the first. Yeah, that's really what it is. I went really, really aggressive. Oh man, I got rid of uh, the. Uh, I got rid of. The cocoon of evolution too. Eh, it's all good though. We'll be okay, Josh. We got Rosie here now. Rosie's here. Add a girl, Rosie. Add a girl. Alright. I'll move this to defense next turn. Alright. Well, he's down in 1950. I think we can get him. Sometimes Weevil's AI will just kind of put low, low, low attack monsters out here. Now, with that being said, he did power up one more thing. So, hmm, Solomon's Law book, okay. We might, yeah, okay. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking we might activate a trap there, but it's okay. Um, let's see here. Hmm. This is kind of what I want to do. I kind of want to see if we can draw something else. Let's do that. Activate Solomon's Law Book here. And you're going to see some weird letters on the screen. Bam! Can play another card now. Hmm. Yeah, I just don't think this is high enough. Yeah, it's only 850. There's no way it's high level enough for a Chimera. 